Have you ever thought about living off-grid? Meaning to live the life like in primitive ages, not served by the utilities like electricity, gas or water. Cutting all ties with all the technologies sounds fascinating, right? Welcome back to another episode of Celebrity Net Worth and Lifestyle. In today's episode, we'll go over living off-grid couple Jake and Nicole biography, net worth and lifestyle. Jake Mace is a famous YouTube star who was born on November 25, 1981 in Canada. He was born in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and grew up there. In the early 1990s, he relocated to Phoenix, Arizona. He is one of the YouTube stars who was born in Canada. He also has a position among the list of most famous YouTube stars. On his top-rated YouTube channel, Kung Fu and Tai Chi Center with Jake Mace, he teaches Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and Qigong. His martial arts demonstrations have been viewed over 153 million times. Rickson Gracie, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu legend, has appeared in his videos. Jake is a full-time martial arts, Tai Chi, yoga, fitness, urban gardening, edible landscapes, and golf instructor who attended Arizona State University. Jake Mace's net worth is estimated to be in the range of $1 million to $5 million. From his primary career as a YouTube star, he has amassed a sizable fortune. Jake was married to a woman called Pamela. Later, he divorced her and started dating Nicole. Nicole is an American YouTube channel, Nicolistic. Her YouTube channel is mainly devoted to fitness and yoga, and her vlogs also. Nicole was first introduced to yoga through dance. She started practicing yoga and saw the positive effect it had on her. Later, she became a certified yoga guru at the Yoga School of Scranton. Jake and Nicole are the cutest couples living together, but as per rumors or gossips, they were not married until recently. Congratulations, newlyweds. Later, Jake started a channel with his partner Nicole, living off-grid with Jake and Nicole. Nicole herself is also a famous YouTuber who mainly focuses on fitness and yoga. Both Jake and Nicole live 30-foot Pacific Yurt located on North Vancouver Island. This yurt is their full-time home. The idea of living full-time in this yurt first popped into Jake's head as he traveled throughout China in Mongolia when he was 21 years old. While in the grasslands of Mongolia, he stayed in a traditional Mongolian yurt. It was a fantastic experience for him. He remembered it and loved the design and warmth he felt and comfort that the yurt gave him while he was wrapped in wool blankets, safe inside that Mongolian yurt. Jake's better half Nicole loved the idea of living off-grid in a yurt as soon as she heard about his view of living in a yurt as their vibes match sound like soulmates. Nicole and Jake's whole life and their lifestyles are very much about adventure and living in the moment. Living off-grid has been a fun and challenging adventure for them. Yurt can only be accessed by boat. All their supplies can only be brought by the boat. They also had to cut their way into the land and clear the spot for yurt because their property was heavily forested. After removing the space, they built the platform and assembled the yurt in about a month despite snow, rain, black flies and mosquitoes attempting to stop them. Once their platform was finished, they waited for a stretch of sunny weather to happen which let them put up their yurt in just three days. Nicole had a great time putting up the yurt because it went by so quickly. It also made them feel accomplished, and they thought the structure was thoughtfully designed. When they could sleep in their new yurt, they felt a sense of accomplishment and pleasure. They are completely enamored with the yurt's appearance. Jake and Nicole's living room has a very soothing and geometric feel to it. The ring, dome, and rafters also remind them of the sun, which emits light beams. They can hear the sounds of nature around them while remaining mosquito and bug free in the yurt. They are also kept warm and cozy by their new wood stove. Nicole and Jake see a lot of benefits to living off the grid and in the yurt. The best use is that they don't have to pay a mortgage or rent. They are also taken aback by how lovely it feels to be inside. They do feel like they are in the middle of nature and they can hear everything that is going on around them. They enjoy it when it rains because the sound it produces is incredible. To make yurt sustainable, they use solar energy, a compost toilet, a wood stove, and composting organic waste. They upgraded their solar power system, converted their diesel van to run on used vegetable oil, and grew all of their food in their garden and orchard adjacent to the yurt. They're also milling their wood planks and building a washroom, bedroom loft, and front porch entryway out of raw logs they found in the forest. The area around the yurt is highly fertile and abundant in forest compost, also known as hummus. Every square meter of our land is covered in trees that are at least 50 years old. As a result, they've started cutting away the overgrown woodland to let more light in and make room for the garden and orchard. They've also built log homes, a yurt loft, raised vegetable beds, 
a chicken coop, fencing, and even furniture out of the trees they've felled. They plan to grow at least 300 fruit trees and a few dozen raised garden beds to be completely self-sufficient in food. Jake and Nicole feel that living off-grid has an impact on the environment and sustainability. Off-grid life is generally excellent for the environment, with little negative influence, because off-grid buildings and communities rely primarily on renewable energy. Hybrid energy systems also give people a sustainable way of life, without relying on and paying for public infrastructure, unreliable in underdeveloped nations. The use of diesel generators, which emit greenhouse gases, batteries, which consume many resources and can be harmful, and pollution in natural environments from solid waste and wastewater are all isolated environmental hazards. It's important to emphasize that while the concerns listed below deal with the adverse environmental issues, Jake and Nicole provide their electrical power, food, housing, and water to become self-sufficient. Taking a town off the grid requires renewable energy, on-site water, sustainable agriculture, and vertical farming techniques. Eric Wickman recently created a concept design for a multifamily community that incorporates these technologies into a self-sufficient neighborhood. To expand the community, they use the same strategy as before to create new areas. An autonomous society decreases its environmental impact by managing trash and carbon emissions. Living off-grid is not only a YouTube channel, but also a passion or way of life that some people want to live. But society makes it hard for some due to our competitive nature in the world that we live in. The term off the grid refers to buildings and lifestyles designed to be self-sufficient and don't rely on one or more public service, such as not being linked to an electrical grid. But it can also relate to other services such as water, gas, sewer systems, and much more. It can also range in size from single homes to small towns. Off-the-grid living allows buildings and individuals to be self-sufficient, which is beneficial in remote areas where standard utilities are unavailable and appealing to those who want to reduce their carbon footprints and living costs. A typical off-grid structure must provide energy and potable water and manage food, trash, and wastewater and more. If you made it this far, make sure to smash that subscribe button for your chance to win our monthly shout-out giveaway. Once you're done, comment down below, I subbed, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. Let's jump into the net worth. As of September 2021, the YouTube channel Living Off Grid with Jake and Nicole has a net worth of approximately $1.6 million. Whereas Nicole with her channel earns approximately $40,000 as of October 2021. Remember, these numbers are estimated as no one knows exactly how much they're worth. Get to know your favorite YouTuber's lifestyle and biography by subscribing to our channel. Until then!